Hi guys, today I'm going to do a video on all the different types of alcohol ink surfaces and I'm going to introduce you to this which is in my opinion a fabulous fabulous product okay so um let's I have my alcohol ink pearls and what I do well I'll show you once we get started I just want to show you this real quick see this background this was made um it's an embossing folder on Yupo paper and what I did was I put some alcohol inks in here and I just picked up the color with a brush, an older brush. I didn't know if it would get ruined. And I just dropped in some color, some pearl, and the comparable color in purple. That's not the regular alcohol ink. And can you see that shine? Look how pretty that is. And I added in the gold in the middle. And it just really makes for a pretty background. So, you know, this... Instead of just dropping alcohol inks on paper and making blended backgrounds, you can also paint with them. And, you know, if you're not a painter like me, I'm, you know, very, I like to watercolor, but I'm a beginner. This is a really good option. You know, it, it, when you, the, the color does run outside the embossing folder lines a little bit, but it's not too much. It's a loose effect. And I think it looks nice. Look how, you know, I think that looks pretty. So that's the back. I chose to use the raised edges to try to help contain the uh, the alcohol ink. I didn't use any blending solution here, just the color, and I dropped in blue in the background, and that's it. Very, you know, very simple, and it only took a little bit of ink. Didn't take much, and I used just used this in. I got this from like the dollar store or something. Okay, so also before we move on, I also want to show you. These are alcohol inks that I made using the gold, which I'm going to show you. And after they dried, I used a uh, 3D embossing folder from We Are Memories, Memory Keepers. And look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? So much texture. And just a little bit of gold in random places. It looks so beautiful. Okay. So. All right. I'm going to show you here. This is a pack of alcohol ink you have your foil and then this is glossy and this pack is matte okay this is an unopened pack but I have an open pack here that I did, but I just want to show you this is how it comes we'll put that off to the side these this is foil Yupo or it's called silver cardstock I I've used it before but I don't know I I'm not thrilled with it um, putting the alcohol ink on it. Ah, I like the white better. I'll probably just keep this for another card just to use it, you know, as silver cardstock. Okay, so here you have your translucent sheets. These are thinner, more flexible, and this is white cardstock. I don't have the heavy weight. I have to get my hands on that. Still waiting to get that. Okay, and this is the open pack. I just put the names on there so I knew what was what. It looks like photo paper. And here, this is, I'm going to try this for the first time today. This is Hewlett Packard uh, 5x7 photo paper. I used to print my own photos. But I'm going to try using this um, as uh, on alcohol inks on this today. It's definitely thinner than this glossy Yupo. I mean, you don't have to use these for alcohol inks. You could also use other techniques, you know, like ink smushing, and then you put the glaze over it. So that's another technique. But in any, today we're focusing on alcohol inks. All right. So I'm going to put this away and take them out as we need. Of course, it's giving me a hard time. All right. <clears throat> I gotta pause the video. I have a cat here that's looking to get into his box. Hold on a moment. Okay, so back to where we started. Here's my alcohol inks, my pearls, and here's the mixatives. I'm gonna show, I had somebody ask me if the gold mixative works the same as this 
this is see this is a mixative okay and it looks I'm going to see I haven't compared them yet side by side but from what I remember using these I remember this being thicker and not moving as well but let's we're going to try see what happens and I have a pipette because with this you, you know you don't want to pour it out because it's an open cap I just put some in here I pipette it out put it in here and that's how I I use it and this is a it's meant to clean um, dust from like a camera or somewhere it blows out you know I saw this uh, Jessica Frost Bowers had it and I thought it was pretty cool so I got this off Amazon it's relatively cheap and uh, it's called a rocket air puffer or something like that it's got the word rocket in it though anyway you can also use a straw all right now my blending solution I personally here this is the blending solution I put it in a dropper because I have a hard time controlling it when I drip, pour it out it tends to drip and get make a mess all over the place so instead I transferred into a dropper I have a lot more control with this we'll put that away okay so let's move on I'm going to pause this while I get my colors together okay what I did was in order to stretch the use of my alcohol pearls I I swatched them out see and look how close that is in color I grabbed the comp the similar color of regular alcohol inks and this way I use both this one I'll have to use as much as the pearls because yeah I don't want to waste them I don't want to I want to stretch the use as much as possible and these two are very similar and these two are very similar I'll have all them linked below in the description now this is the what I was asked about this is the gold mixative and this is Jacquard's Pinata Color Rich Gold. This I got. It doesn't have a ball inside, but you can see all the pigment um, falls to the bottom. You got to mix it up really well. <clears throat> oh wait, you know what? I think I do here. Is there a ball in there? If there is, I. Oh, you know what? I'm mistaken. There is a ball in there. I guess it has to be to really get that mixative going. Yeah, there is. I hear it now all right Come on. okay now that I spared you the boringness of shaking that off screen see I'm just gonna squeeze my pipette just very little now I don't squeeze it all the way because I don't want to suck up that much just a very little I used to work as a lab tech, so I'm familiar, very familiar with the pipettes. I'm going to put a little bit in my, see, that's it. it. You know, if you've used the pearl inks, you know how they sizzle. It's like they have an appearance that they're sizzling. It's really cool. All right, so I'm going to close this up because if not, I will knock it over for sure. I already did, I did another video not that long ago where <laughs> I was doing a, uh, tutorial and I knocked the blending solution all over the place so yeah needless to say I did not air that video okay this is the glossy Yuko I'm going to do that in a comparison compared to the photo paper and see how it it compares all right I'm keeping this face down so it gets rid of that glare I'm still working on a solution for the light problem okay so what I've seem I like to put blending solution on first because it gives a really good nice effect Hold on. it makes the paper wet and it really moves it nicely see with the dropper you have more uh, see what is that I don't maybe I thought might have been a little bit of ink on my dropper let's see if we can get rid of that it'll be covered up yeah, there was some there was some ink on my dropper. That's my fault. User error. Okay, I'm gonna close that up because, like I said, I will spill it. All right, let's start with the yellow. So 
See how pretty? Look how beautiful that is. See how it like sizzles? I'm going to add a little bit more of this yellow. This is the regular alcohol ink. It's called Dandelion. Okay. So it's a little darker. All right, now the purple. Purple and yellow seem to look nice together, so let's... You can also touch the paper, which is what I'm doing. Okay. I'm going to add a little bit of the regular purple, which is Purple Twilight. Sometimes I shake them. Um, normal reaction. This is a little darker. The alcohol inks, because of the shimmer, are lighter in comparison. Getting a little muddy color over there. All right, let's add some Sublime. Get rid of that yucky color right there. That's what's a good thing about alcohol inks. They're very forgiving. So if you don't like a spot, you can just cover it up. And the blending solution is good for movement. It really moves things along. And if, like I said, if you don't like an area, you can just, okay, and then just get rid of it. Let me grab a paper towel. I should have had one already. All right, so this, just going to tilt it a little bit to get rid of some of that right there. All right, now I'm going to do the gold. I'm going to show you how magnificent this stuff is. I do tend to mix it up a little bit in case it's settled in the well here. See, look at that. Look at that. And see, the blending solution is causing it to, wherever there's more blending solution, which it's like pulled up right here, it causes it to fizzle out. It, it moves it out. Look at that. I just love this stuff. Love it. Now, we're going to try this. This Again, this is the uh, Ranger Mixative in gold. I'm going to drop it in over here because it uh, has a lot of solution there. See how it reacts see it doesn't move the same as the regular as this pinata gold does the pinata gold seems to yeah i think because this is a mixative it's not an it's an alcohol ink but it's different it's just like thicker or something yeah see it doesn't move as well you have to actually move it but you can get similar results. All right. So there you have it. Let me pull it up so you can see better. See the difference? This is the pinata gold, and that's the mixative. Again, the mixative, I have to had to move it myself. Okay. I'm going to move this off to the side, and I'm going to try the photo paper now. Just don't want that to drip, so I'm going to... Okay. Let me move that over here. Okay. Now, this is the 5x7 Hewlett Packard glossy paper, photo paper. I'm going to see how this works. Let's try some teal. with, what is this, similar, I don't know what the name of this is, oh, pool, let me try this out, well, let me put my solution down first, I'll put solution on one half and not on the other half, so we can see the difference on how it works, okay, okay, All right, guys, got to shake it up. There we go. Got to make sure you get all that pigment on the bottom off so it's all properly mixed. It 
see how much it it like automatically spreads out when the solution is already down yeah I like doing the solution ahead of time that's just me I like the effect it gives as opposed to putting it down afterwards I mean it's all a personal choice and what you like okay let me put some of the uh, sizzle the pearl over here like I said, don't forget, you can always paint with these. And that is so much fun to do on an embossing folder. It really is. Oh, let's try the green again. I love teal and lime together. I think they look so pretty. And they complement each other so well. Okay. Put some of the... Shake it up again. The pit... The... Um... The pigment or whatever the glitter re settles really quickly look i had to shake it after what five five minutes i'm not using it it settles very quick so cover those gaps there all right look at that look how beautiful that is okay i love the sizzle of the pearls now i'm going to drop some solution over here see i mean it, it moves it too, but I like the solution on prior to putting the alcohol ink down. I just, I just think it looks, the effect comes out so much nicer. See, sometimes I get pig, some color on my tip. And that's why I got to remember to wipe, clean that off. Because then I transfer it to my next project. I'm not good. All right, let's add some yellow in here. <clears throat> yeah, see, look, it's only been in real time a few minutes and it settles already. All right, again, remember, keep in mind that this is photo paper. It's starting to bow up a little bit. It is thinner, significantly thinner. If I had to give it a weight, I would say the Yupo paper that I used before was probably maybe 80 pounds. This might be 65 in in comparison so you have an idea of how much thinner this is all right we need a little bit more blue in here Okay, and how about, let's say some of the regular blue, or teal, I should say. Oh, no, this is the pearl, my mistake. See, look how pretty. But you see the difference? Ugh. If you don't want to get alcohol ink on your hands, like me, I'm a messy hand person, definitely wear gloves. And I highly, highly, you need to work on a non-porous surface such as a glass mat. A um, non-stick mat will stain. Even though, it, you know, it can you can clean it, but it will stain. So I always use a glass mat. All right. All right, so this, this actually worked. Again, it, you know, it's thinner than the U, regular Yupo from Ranger, but it did work. And it blended nicely. And you see the difference between putting the solution on prior to afterwards. You get more of a billowy blend. I don't know. I don't know where I pulled pull, pull billowy from, but I don't know where that came from, that adjective. It just popped in my head. But it gives more of a cloudy blend, smoother blend than putting it on afterwards. So, okay. So that's the five by seven photo paper okay so if you have some of this at home folks it definitely works right um and you can use it it's just thinner unless you get thicker they do sell photo paper that is thicker you just got to look at the weight and it, it does show you on the package okay so i'm going to pause this while i clean up my station here one moment i just want to show you um my husband got these for me because i kept using little alcohol wipes to clean up my station 
he got these for me at Walgreens. There's 40 of them in here. I only use them when I have to clean a big surface, but they're like the Lysol wipes. And you can just rip one out and then just clean up an entire area instead of using multiple wipes. I think they work pretty good. I mean, it's 70%. The higher the alcohol, the better it is. But these get the job done, and they were relatively cheap. Okay, the next one I'm going to add the pinata gold again. Okay, so let's try the matte Yupo now. Again, this is a pretty pretty thick cardstock or Yupo paper. It's, let me see how it compares to the regular cardstock. Again, I don't have the heavy weight. That's good for like embossing on. I mean, I could emboss on this, but it'll definitely, definitely warp a lot. Okay, this is your regular standard white cardstock. Let's see. They're probably about the same weight. Yeah. This one's a little bit wider. You know, let me see. Yeah, they're about the same weight. This might be a little bit thicker. Not much. But anyway, you can use either side. Now that I got ink from my fingers onto the other side, we'll use this side. All right, let's try a different color now. Let's try the pinks and some yellow. And maybe a little bit of the deception. All right, let's try those. All right, let me just pause this while I grab the comparable deception. Well, actually, you know what? I don't have to. It's poppy field. It's pretty similar. And crimson. Yeah, they're about the same. They're very, look how close those are in colors. Crimson and poppy field. If you have either one, it'll be fine. All right. So again, I'm going to prep this with oh wait you know what let me shake these up first i'm going to prep the area with blending solution you know doing it this way you do you do use more blending solution oh look at me i'm shaking up a regular alcohol ink um you can use uh, you do use more i'm not gonna lie you do use more blending solution but you get a really nice effect i'm going to show you how pretty it looks and this this is colors that my friend Nona commented on a card and she liked the effect and she said she wanted to come over so I could show her how to do it. So I'm going to dedicate this little section to you, Nona, so hopefully this will help you out. Okay. Blending solution onto cardstock. For some reason, I can only suck up half a straw. I don't know why that is. I squeeze it entirely. I don't, but that's okay. All right. So I just kind of soak the paper. I got a fuzzy on there. Gotta love having animals in here. Just really wet it. Okay, it's pretty, it's pretty wet. Okay, now, watch how beautiful. Already it starts settling so fast. Okay, enchanted. Beautiful color. Watch this. Boom, boom. See? See, Nona, that's it. That's, that's how you get great results. You put the blending solution down first, then the alcohol ink. And then it just... It's just gorgeous. Look at that. It's like perfect Easter colors right there. I don't even know if I want to put the red in there. Because it's so bright. You know? I think I might not use the the uh, red. Well, maybe a little, little intrigue. I'll put it off to the side so I can always cut it off. And shake it again. Constantly got to shake these guys. 
me say, oh, yeah, that looks okay. All right, let's add that in there. A little bit of that. All right. Yeah, that looks nice. Okay. And if you want to add more blending solution, get a little bit more movement. You can do that. But since the paper's already kind of soaked, it's only you only get, can go so far. Yeah. And then, you know, you can blow it around with your straw or whatever you have. Okay, now I'm going to add some of the chicard because that's all dried up right there. I, I am, like, totally obsessed with this product. Really. God. I mean, it, I got it off Amazon. And I think it was, like, $12, $12. It was a little more, you know, a lot. But look how big it is. And you don't need that much. I'm going to put it directly onto my product, uh, project. See? See how wonderful it blends because of the solution? And again, you don't need that much, just a little bit. You don't want to put too much because the gold will overtake your colors. Just, a, oh, look at that. Okay. And that's it. And you got a beautiful background right there. Or if you want to die cut letters out, which is what, you know what, I think is what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to make an Easter card. I'm going to use, cut out the words Easter and use these as the, the letters. Because it just, it looks very springy. Yeah, I'm done with this guy. I'm going to let it dry. And that's, that's it. So, see how pretty it looks. Now I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison with the, the pinata and the, Gold mixative. Just one more time, just to make sure everybody knows the difference and how they how they work. Okay. Alrighty. All right. So for that, let me see. I don't want to use a full size Yupo. I use a smaller guy. Hmm. I use a mat. Yeah. I did have another video where I used a foil, and I did like a rainbow from like inspired by Jennifer McGuire. I did um, where you put some. Yeah, I'll show you. If you haven't seen that video, that's. I keep these because you can reuse them. You put colors on here, your alcohol inks. Drop in some uh, blending solution and just whoosh, straight across, and you get a rainbow background. I used these for when I was guest designing for a Concord and Ninth for the Thanks Bundle set. I you cut out the thanks from them and you know I mean it's just so easy. There's so much you can do with it. This was the thanks set that I cut out. I, I cut these out and you know just used a polka dot background and it was easy peasy. Oh while I'm here, I'm just want to see show you something. This is a quick card I made completely random off the subject but I wasn't sure if I should post it on Instagram because it's very simple and I'm not I don't usually make clean and simple cards I'm trying to to start making them you know but I wasn't sure if this was too plain but anyway just figured I'd share it here okay so let's move on uh the pinata gold I'm gonna shake it up again and where's the mix it up here we go all right so if anybody's curious about these golds and the differences that they properties and whatnot I will show you what they can do this is completely dedicated to that okay we're all shook up here now I'm going to put some blending solution down on half and half not on the other side let me zoom in a little bit for you here okay let's see I think you should be able to see let me go a little bit more see yeah that should be all right you should can, all right let me move these back a little bit all right okay so half the blending solution i gotta get more of this i'm running out and the other half not so let's drop down some mixative see it doesn't move 
really. Now, the pinata, watch the difference. See? Look at that. There you go. There's your difference. See how much the blending solution just breaks it apart? And it's just, oh, I love it. Now, don't get me wrong. This is nice, too, the Ranger. It's just different. I'm going to use this to mix it up a little bit. It's, oh, I'm getting the pinata on it. But, oh, I still have some on there. Okay, so it's... It's definitely a darker gold. It's not as bright. And some of the pinata has gotten into this. It contaminated it. You know what? Let me get another pipette. Sorry about that. I have a whole bag. Look at this bag. I got this off Amazon. They were like five bucks. You know, if I was still working, I would be able to get these from the lab for nothing. They're like so cheap. Now I can't get one out. Okay. okay, so now I got another pipette for the other gold. Let's try it again. I'm going to put the blending solution down. Okay, I'm going to put this alcohol mixative. I'm drop it in. Do it on the bottom. It still doesn't spread apart. So before I put the, the other one down, I'm going to see. Yeah, I mean, you can do this and mix it, but it's not the same. It's darker, and it's a completely different look. Now this, I gotta tell you, is my fave. Circle, do I get in here? Yeah. Look at that. I mean, it really is fabulous. I highly recommend this product. I will put a link down below. But yeah, this is from Amazon. Love it. And it took me a while to, to get it. It took a couple weeks. I don't know why, but whatever. But you see, oh, I just dropped some pinata over it. Um, but the other one, you see how dark it was? Let me put another drop now because I... Excellently. See, it's thicker. It doesn't move as well. There you go. See? Hopefully the light's catching it and you can see it. It's hard for me to tell what you can see. All right, so there you go. All right, so that's basically everything. Um, you see the differences in the gold. And this is much thinner and blends and moves much easy, easy, easily than the regular alcohol mixatives. Completely different animal, completely different. I also have the gunmetal and the silver and the rose gold and the white and the black. Um, I don't really use them much. Just now that I've gotten my hands on this bad boy, I'm good. You know, I'm just happy with, with this. And just a tiny bit, as you can see, with the blending solution, just spews it out. All right, guys, so that's it. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you And please try painting with your alcohol inks on an embossing folder. Um, don't forget to emboss on UFO paper or photo paper. And, you know, just have fun with it. It. You know, I really like the way this came out, you know, um, obviously it's easier to paint a flower than it would be to paint something like that. But if you have a, a polka dots or flowers or something, you know, comparable, you can definitely paint them and uh, make a nice background. All right. So thank you so much for stopping by. These videos are very difficult for me to edit. I'm not very good with technology. So with you coming by and watching my video, and it really means a lot to me. So thank you so much and um, have a great day, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.